Hey, what's up guys? This is Taylor, and I am doing the free video for Wednesday, August 21st. So, the biggest thing that I'm seeing into tomorrow, crap load of squeezes. On these watch list columns, I've got the weekly down to the 5 minute time frame. And these tell me whether or not we got a squeeze. It could be a squeeze in a big 3 buy signal, could be a squeeze in a sell signal, could be a neutral squeeze, but on the money makers, right, the 14 names I watch the most, we have a two-hour squeeze on Apple, Broadcom, Tesla, TSM, Meta, Amazon, and AMAT. One-hour squeeze on Broadcom, JP Morgan, NVIDIA, Tesla, AMAT. 30-minute on Broadcom, JP Morgan, NVIDIA, Tesla again, AMAT again, etc., etc. A lot of 15-minute squeezes, a lot of five-minute squeezes. What that tells me is from the inside out, a lot of my watch list names... They're building up energy, and at some point here, the energy will get released in the form of what could be a nice directional move. Now what do I want to do? I want to take all these squeezes, then get to a point where I can call for both timing and direction. Do I take the 30-minute squeeze on NVIDIA? Do I buy it? If I do want to buy it, when and where do I do that? And a big part of figuring that out does come down to the indices. So you can look at the cash markets, SPX, QQQ. You could look at the futures if that tickles your fancy. But on the futures, we have a lot of squeeze action. Two hour on the NQ, gold, YM, S&Ps. One hour on the NQ, gold, YM, S&Ps. They've got some 30 minute, they've got some 15 minute, all kinds of compression. The best squeezes tend to be the ones that have the A+. Right, we got the green A+, on the... One hour and the 30 minute for NQ. Knowing anything can happen overnight, at the moment that is positioned for a move higher. It's got good structure, good trend. More importantly, momentum has been hanging out below zero. On that little push towards the close today, they take that MACD and pull that back to a positive reading. Which leaves that one hour squeeze for the most part locked and loaded for a push higher. Tomorrow's session or even overnight, if they take out key support here at the 21 and the hourly 50, momentum will likely go back below zero. At that point, with declining momentum and price below support, might be a better chance to squeeze break short. At the moment, the signals would imply much better chance that squeeze fires to the upside. If they can do that and take out today's highs, then you look to the 2-hour, 30-minute, 15-minute squeeze on Broadcom, you look at the 2-hour, 30-minute squeeze on Tesla. Few here on Meta, few on AMAT. Wait for a trigger in the indexes first. When you get the trigger, then go look to your watch list names. My major focus would be a lower time frame squeeze. Um, the perfect time for a swing trade on a weekly or a daily squeeze, I think, is when the S&Ps look like they look back in May, June. And I don't think you get a better moment in time. Right near that daily buy zone, in a squeeze, with the white dot. Squeeze fires kicks off a few weeks of wind at your back. Very impressive move off the bottom. We don't have the same setup. We don't have compression from a daily squeeze. We are not setting up near that 21 EMA. Until that changes, I'm bullish. I'm looking for spots to get long. We're doing that down on the 1 hour, 30 minute, 15 minute squeeze as opposed to a weekly or a daily squeeze. And for the most part, that's been working out really nicely. A few winning trades on AMD, a few on NVIDIA. We hit Microsoft, we hit TSM. We will keep on working that game plan until things change. Indexes first. If they've got a squeeze, wait for a trigger. When the squeeze fires, then you look for your individual picks. Squeeze does not break to the upside. They take out support, then it could get a bit more interesting. But for now, that is what I'm seeing into tomorrow. As always, folks, thank you for watching. Have a great night. And if you want to check out the indicators here, Big 3 Squeeze on the Simpler website. We are doing the sale right now, so check that out, and I'll talk to you soon. Adios. 
What's up traders? This is Taylor from Simpler Trading. I wanted to thank you for watching our video and if you liked the video, go on ahead and comment down below, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get a notification anytime we upload our next video. And of course, if you wanna watch us trade live in real time with our own money, check us out at simplertrading.com. Until then, trade safe and I'll catch you in the next video.